Crowds trigger concerns. It was just six days ago, of course, the terrorists drove through a crowd and then went on a stabbing rampage here in London. Last night, two police officers were hit by a speeding truck in our area in Adams Morgan. We asked Pete Montine to look into safety measures for this year's DC Pride, and he's live tonight right off DuPont Circle. Pete? Adam, the Pride motto this year is unapologetically proud, a non to staying strong against terror. 49 streams of white fabric, 49 lives lost a year ago this month. The community has come together and we will always come together. Michael Wilson is from North Carolina. This is his first Pride weekend in Washington. It's also the first since the massacre at Orlando's Pulse Gay Nightclub. Security is always on your mind, but in, you know, the, the community has come together in ways that uh, show the resiliency of the LGBT community. This time, it's a massive art project. It sits on the Human Rights Campaign building in DuPont. It's called 49 for the 49 killed last June 12th. While we're always mindful of security and safety, uh, pride is about coming together. Pride is about standing up regardless of the hate that exists, regardless of the forces of uh, against equality that exists in the world. Capital Pride organizers tell me they're working closely with DC police, a reminder of safety against a reminder of light in darkness. No act of violence, no act of hatred uh, can stop us from our authenticity and stop us from pride in ourselves and our identities and that's why we're coming together. A pride kickoff concert is going on right now. By the way, the pride parade kicks off not far from here tomorrow afternoon, 22nd and P Street, 430 in the afternoon. Live in DuPont Circle, Pete Montine, WUSA 9. A